Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video you will learn an introduction about carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and hydrosphere. But before that we make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification on. So you don't miss any videos in the future. Carbon is a single atom with two valence electrons and is placed in group 14 of the periodic table. This atom exists in many forms in the atmosphere. Hydrosphere and Lithosphere Atmosphere is where the layers of gas that extends from everywhere to surround Earth. Hydrosphere is where all of the water including oceans, lakes or rivers, and in general all of the bodies of water on Earth's surface underground and in the atmosphere. Lithosphere is the outermost layer of Earth and it is the surface where we live on. Carbon is a form of hydrogen carbonate exists in the rocks in the ocean. As a form of carbon dioxide in the oceans and atmosphere. As a form of carbon monoxide in the atmosphere. Keep in mind that the carbon within the atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere are in a balanced form and is in equilibrium. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are the major gases that are released due to the human activities and natural process. They are mostly released from lithosphere. There are tons of reactions that involve these two chemical compounds. In the atmosphere carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and ozone layer. UV light from the sun is also involved in this reaction to take place. Know that how much carbon monoxide is important to increase the concentration of carbon dioxide and creation of one layer. As you can see in this equation the reaction between carbon monoxide and the oxygen. Note that this carbon dioxide which exists in the atmosphere is in equilibrium with the carbon dioxide exists in the oceans or in hydrosphere. It means they are constantly interacting with each other. The carbon dioxide exists in the oceans or in hydrosphere will react with water which will produce hydrogen ion and hydrogen carbonate ion. Note that hydrogen ion presentation has acidic properties. As such it contributes to acidify the water in the ocean. Therefore the organisms living or using water will be affected by the ocean acidification. Coral and crustaceans are the major organisms that have shown significant changes in their lives. Global warming is the result of huge amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere and hydrosphere. Great Barrier Reef is one of the most significant example and it has been determined that the primary cause of coral bleaching that causes by the heat stress due to change in temperature of the oceans. As such the coral starts to bleach and eventually die. The carbonate that was formed as a result of carbon dioxide and water will further dissociates to form carbonate ion and hydrogen ion. Eventually carbonate reacts with calcium ions and forms calcium carbonate in the lithosphere. This is the lesson for today. I hope you have learned something new today with us. Thank you for watching my video.